there and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a really cool bachelor pad that we designed. The materials, the technology, I'm sure you can't wait. So stay tuned and watch till the end of the video. I'm Tanvi Sixeria, the founder and CEO of Lil Miss Designer, a luxury interior design firm. If you're here to find out about the tips, tricks and hacks on interior design, then you're at the right place. Let's jump right into the topic and discuss about this amazing bachelor pad. We'll be discussing the color combinations, the technologies, the lighting and such amazing things about this bachelor pad. Specifically, we'll be talking about one, the master bedroom. Two, the master bathroom with an amazing cute little walk-in area. And three, the living, dining, bar, pantry all together in one. So stay tuned and let's hear more about it. One, master bedroom. When the client connected with me, the first thing he told me was that he wants an exquisite luxury hotel looking like bedroom. I said, okay, done. So what is the first thing that we decided to do? To give him a luxurious bed. Now for this bed, we actually created an amazing mattress known as the Ergo Mattress Shell. The color combination of this bedroom was quite simple yet exquisite. We chose beige, blue and white for the entire bedroom. Let's understand a little more in detail as to how and why we chose this. Now for the bed, he wanted a luxurious feel. So we chose leather, a leather cladded bed and to match it, the side tables as well. We did not want to use two materials as we felt that it looked much more seamless to use one material itself. Now going ahead with this look, we wanted to add a slight pattern. So on the leather as you can see, we added stitches on the sides so that there are small strip patterns going all across. This was just a small detail that we felt would look nice for the bed. Now instead of going for a regular headboard design, as you can see over here, the headboard is slightly tilted towards one side. Now what I mean by this is that the headboard is behind the bed and it is slightly coming on the corner on one side. Now the reason behind this is of course design perspective but a second important reason about this was that random column going across in the room. This column was coming in the way and making the room look very funny. So we thought to incorporate that into our design. To not have this structure in the way and look funny, we further added cute bookshelves along with it, painting in the same color as the column to merge it with that. Not only did this add to the design effect of it, but it also added to the utility of it. On the right of the bed, there is this leather side table. Right above that, we've given a very cool mirror. This mirror has a slight chamfer on the side of it and it is backlit with beautiful LED strips behind it. The window was a very important factor when designing this space. He had very small windows and we envisioned this room would look much better with a bigger window. So we lowered the sill height of the window giving it maximum view and ventilation and air. Now coming to the windows being big, the second thing was we wanted to make use of that corner space. So we created a beautiful ledge with a marble top and laminate with storage below. Why waste any space, right? The window ledge not only created the space to look better, but it also was going to be useful for him as when his friends came down and they wanted to chill in his room, it was a cute way to sit and have a conversation where some could sit on the bed, some could sit on the ledge and they could have a really fun time. To contrast the simple palette we've chosen for the bed and cabinets, we decided to add a pop of colour of blue on the curtains. The client loved the colour blue, so we definitely wanted to incorporate that. Since the client didn't have the budget for a marble flooring or a wooden flooring, we decided to go with a laminated wooden flooring which looks similar to a wooden flooring but half the cost. It's always good to use a half but get the same look. <laughs> Coming to the fall ceiling design and lighting, we created a small fall ceiling right above the bed. We added a linear profile light which went all across in a white colour known as 6000K as well. Now, we needed an interesting fan. We used an Atomsburg fan, which also works with a remote. So it was super handy if you did not want to get up, all you would do is click on a remote. Oh. Something unique about the bed design was the mattress that we chose. 
It is known as the Ergo Shell mattress, which basically when you jump in, you can literally sink into it. Not only is it comfortable, but it is also good for your back. Then we made sure that the task lights are white in color and the ambient lights are yellow. This creates a good balance to the space. Not only does it make it cozy, but it also makes it functional. I'm not really very happy with where we've placed the TV, but the client was quite adamant that he wanted one. So we had to place the TV towards the cross end of the bathroom and then have it on a support system where it can tilt and he can easily watch it from the bed. Now for decorating this bed, we've added a few artifacts onto the shelves and a blue and white simple bed sheet with brown cushions to match the flooring. Now enough about the bed, let's talk about the walk-in and the bathroom which is absolutely amazing so stay tuned to watch till the end of the video. Now looking at the bedroom layout, there was not much space for the wardrobe and the client really wanted a walk-in area. So we utilized the space between the bedroom and the bathroom to give a cute walk-in unit. Even this was a mini passage between the two, we've made the maximum use of it. We could not have space to have those simple openable wardrobe shutters, so instead we used the mechanism of a sliding folding wardrobe. Now this is really good if you have less space. It really helps to fold that shutter and open it so you get maximum usage of actually opening that wardrobe and removing out your clothes. The wardrobe height was all the way from the floor to the ceiling. We gave the main cabinet size at 7 feet and overhead shutters above that. In the wardrobe, we gave good hanging space, drawers and shelves as per the client's need. The wardrobe shutters were white and simple. We decided to continue that look onto the sliding partition which was dividing the bedroom and the walk-in area. When the sliding shutter shut, it looked really pretty as there were white frames and white back painted glass in between. Now, let's talk about my favorite part, the bathroom. Oh my god, I don't know where to start, but I definitely would be talking about most is the mirror or even the bathtub actually, I can't decide. But let me tell you a little more about the mirror. Now this mirror was a nice round mirror with a complete backlit lighting behind it. It completely stole the show. Not that this was enough. We also wanted to give a seamless looking basin. We were not liking any of those ready-made basins. So we actually got this basin customized in this amazing Korean material. So it did not even have a problem in cleaning and it was the complete black matte basin which had a slight curvature. And not that this curvature was enough, but it also looked like it was coming out from the wall. So it's kind of like it's camouflaging but not. The entire color combination for this bathroom was black and wooden. Not a very regular type of vision I know, but my client really wanted this look and I knew exactly how to achieve it. I chose these amazing wooden looking tiles which we applied all over the walls and these black fittings on the tub, on the sanitary wear such as your WC fixtures etc. Since my client really loved black, we made sure to have this black granite going all over the frames and the sanitary wear which we coated black was of good quality so that he doesn't have any problems at a later stage. Keeping this in mind, the hot tub was his favourite part. He actually wanted us to put a TV in the bathroom, but I don't think that would have been a very good idea. However, we did make provision for it, so that at a later stage if he wanted, he could nicely sit in the bathtub and watch his TV. And to add to this, we actually created a cute wooden ledge, so that he could actually put his wine bottles, or maybe just a beer, snack on some food and enjoy his show while sitting in the tub. The disadvantage about this bathroom design is there was no place for any bathroom counter as the mirror shape was so different and we really wanted to go ahead with that. So what we did is we created small shelves on the right so that he could actually use that to store his things like his toothbrush etc. If you see the tub area, we've created these small niches on the side. This not only helps to save space instead of having those protruding shelves coming out, but it actually looks so much more monotonous as the wooden tiles go all throughout. I'm not so sure about you, but I really love the way this bathroom and bedroom have turned out. So if you have any recommendations or if you liked anything particular about it, do comment down and let me know. Okay, now enough about the bedrooms. Let's talk about the living room or should I call it pantry or should I call it bar because this room is a multi-purpose room. He wanted to use it for everything. So we obviously wanted to continue the entire look of wooden and black even in the living room area. 
So what we did is we created the wooden flooring going all the way till the living room and created black doors and dark grey was also used a little bit in terms of the sofa. Right near the sofa we created this amazing mirror panelling to make the space look a little bigger. Now this we backed with a lighting behind it so that the space also had a bit of an ambient touch to it. So on one side we had this cute sofa arrangement with the TV right in front of it but however there was no place to put a centre table as you can see the space was a little constrained. So instead we gave him a side table between both the sofas and the armchair and a small nesting table on the side of the sofa so that if he ever wanted to eat, chill or something, he had that for it. Now on one side, while he had this super cute sofa seating, we wanted to give a cute dining come bar come pantry look on the other side. So what we did is, we created this small cabinet, or what I call it a bar come table cabinet, and on that, he could actually use the top to eat his food, or if he wanted to have company coming around, he could extend that two table seating into a four table seating. All he had to do was pull down the table top and add two stools which were lying around over there. Now, addition to this was the pantry area. The pantry area, if you can see, is a complete exquisite look with the whole black and wooden show going around it. What we did for this is we created the black look by adding black tiles as well as black laminate and also black fixtures of the Jaguar series again. Now, when we created this, we also wanted to have a black sink. So basically the black was going all throughout and to top it all we also wanted to continue the wooden look. So for the wooden look we created was under the counters wherever possible. There was so much colour going around, it was getting a little dark for such a small place. So we decided to use a lot of white too. We used a cute brick wall pattern above the sofa and some of it on the bar stools near the bar area. And also for the AC panelling unit, we created small niches on which he could stock his little bottles just to act cool, you know. Now that was all about the furniture, let's understand the fall ceiling and lighting layout. Now he wanted a little bright place but at the same time he wanted to have some ambience. So we decided to add track lights as well as add some LED strips for both. Now how this helps is, is if he wanted to just use the living room area to sit and actually do some work, he could put on the white lights. But if he just wanted to have like a party or have some friends over, he could put off those white lights and just use the ambient lighting and enjoy that ambient. Right above the bar, we created this small frame-like structure in which we put small planters. This was also so that he could stock his wine glasses if he felt too lazy to move from the bar table to the pantry which was literally a minute away, but just in case. design the living room, the bedroom and the bathroom of this amazing bachelor pad. Which part of it did you like the most? I think if I had to think about it, I definitely like the master bathroom the most, especially the mirror and the bathtub. So if you found this video informative and would like to know more about similar topics, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe and of course hit that notification bell to see more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching.